Hello my friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Kobo Man. In this video I'm going to talk about types of computers used by businesses. In this video I'm going to go over um, desktops and laptops that you may encounter um, in a business environment. Starting from older models to the newer ones, and you know, I will show you what is being currently used and also what it's going to be, what is, what is replacing it as well. So starting with HP, this is a small form factor HP uh, that you may see. Um, this particular one is HP 8300. Of course, you will see different uh, models and submodels of this that look identical to this when it comes to shape and, uh, and everything else, but they will be HP 8200, 8100s, and of course, they will vary in different specs. This particular one is HP 8300, a lead small form factor desktop computer has Intel i5-3470. i5 is something you would typically see because Intels are obviously really good. Uh, this particular one has eight gigs of RAM and this is something as, as pretty much a standard that you could expect at a business environment. And again, this is an older one. Uh, this computer is probably five to six years old and they are currently being replaced with newer models, which I will touch upon here in a second. Of course, typical uh, to see is anywhere between 250 uh, to 500 gigabytes of uh, storage. And um, this particular one comes with Windows 10. But, you know, you will most likely see Windows 7 installed on these type of computers, you know. And they come with a USB 3.0 and display ports. Let me kind of show you what that is. You see the, uh, hopefully this thing lets me zoom in. Oh, here we go. I hope you guys can see this, but there are blue connectors here in case you don't know that those are the USB 3.0 um, type of connectors. They're faster than these regular black ones that are just regular 2.0. And what you see here is actually a display port. So these computers do not have DVI connection. However, they do have regular VGA and display port. So moving on, even on the new computers, you will most likely see display port, sometimes even two. And, uh, and this particular one, I actually bought one for myself because they were so cheap. I paid a little bit over $100 and I will be making a video on uh, kind of uh, refurbishing it and kind of adding more things to it. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure you subscribe. But um, I bought it and I'll be getting it sometime next week and I will be making a video on that. And it's uh, pretty much identical to this. It did not come with a hard drive, which I will be installing in there. I will be putting in a um, solid state drive in it. And I'll be using this as a secondary computer. My main computer is a i7. So these are the older ones. They are These are currently being replaced by newer models, which are something like this. This is a HP Elite Desk 800G1 desktop computer. Also small form factor. I wish this one had a little bit more pictures and I really couldn't find one that had uh, decent pictures, but it looks similar to this when it comes to in the back of it, right? You know, you'll have a display port. I think these come with two display ports in the back, but generally speaking, it's the same type of connection. You have front USB connectors. Um, you know, the, the blue ones, again, are USB 3.0 and uh, black ones are 2.0. Uh, this particular one is i7. Um, mostly what I've seen are i5s because they're obviously they're cheaper, but we do have some uh, i7s at the place that I work at as well that look just like this. Um, so this is a, these are the new ones, right? These are the new ones. Um, they have 800 G1s and G2s from what I've seen. I'm not sure if the G3s are out yet or if that's even a thing, but uh, I'll just kind of touch upon, these are the big ones. Let me click on this real quick. You, you know how we saw this one here? This is the small form factor and this is the full, full tower one. I've seen these as well. You know, they're really bulky and heavy. So I kind of prefer these. But as we kind of go along with the newer models, I've noticed that these new ones are much lighter as opposed to these, although they're kind of in the same size, you know. Moving on, now these, this is a Dell that you may encounter. And it, these are older ones. I have not seen many of these. And they're not, they're not that good, to be honest with you. And some similar um, specs, you know, th as you can tell, this is a really old one. Dell Optiplex i5-2400. Uh, I this is like a second generation i5, I believe. And we just didn't have th this many. These are tiny. 
these are very small it's all it's actually a lot smaller shorter than this one for example and uh, you know this is the same type of thing you have VGA you have DVI connector there uh, a digital port I should say there are no DVI's you know standard and this one this one is kind of uh, yeah you can see it only has USB 2.0 the black connectors you know but generally speaking these were these are really bad you know but I've seen some of these they're just bad quality these Dell ones uh, moving on and uh, these are I've seen a few of these they were okay they were okay these are Lenovo's I believe I have a video somewhere on this just kind of going over it on how you can upgrade and whatnot if I can find the link I'll go ahead and uh, kind of show it and, and, you know I'll let it just pop up as one of those cards here so you guys can link if you want to uh, so you guys can look if you if you're interested this one says it's 2016 model but you know they have way older ones that look just like this which I've seen you know you can kind of tell that it has that kind of squarish uh, sharp edges type of shtick going on but what you would get is pretty much you know i5 you know processors which is you know kind of needed at the minimum I see you can say it says here so this is misleading it says 2016 Lenovo but I guarantee it's not look it says here Intel quad core i5 2400 which is you know I, I think it's a second generation um, Intel i5 so but this is something you can see they were all right now oh man these when you open them up uh, they have really sharp edges on the inside oh man I, I you know I've cut myself a couple of times but I do have soft skin soft hands you know but anyways <laughs> moving on these are the notebooks now I really like this notebook this is an HP EliteBook 8470 I think they have 8460p's as well and they're really decent they come with i5's these are older ones and I will show you you know as usual I will show you what the replacements are for these but they're pretty sturdy notebooks um, matter of fact I'm for work um, I'm still using one of these and uh, eventually I'm, I may kind of get one of the older in, in one of the newer ones I should say but this is an older model very very solid notebook I have to say you know, the, the worst thing that went out on these is uh, you know the hard drive but that's typical you know especially from something that you carry you know they come with again they come with the i5s usually with 8 gigs of RAM and 500 gigabyte hard drives you know some of them less 250 or whatever you know but um, they're really good I I like them I even like the screen on them you know they're it's aluminum all over kind of except the, this part here underneath where it's kind of uh, plastic but mostly it really feels sturdy especially with the frame around it it kind of like it, it just feels like something that sh they're, they're kind of heavy I'm not gonna lie but uh, I've you know I think they're they're good good uh, good notebooks here's a here's the replacement newer one for the for the what was it uh, elite book 8470 this is elite book 840 g1 someday we have some g2s as well they're all typically 14 inch in size uh, this one is i7 but you know there are of course there are i5s it's you know these come with solid state drives see how this one says 240 gigabyte ssd i5s came with uh, regular hard drives but of course you can upgrade that easily um, it's a very light and skinny notebook and it, it's kind of it's kind of nice however I don't really care for them because they're very plasticky feel they have plasticky feel to them and I, you know I just I don't know they very very feel very flimsy very flimsy you know this one looks like it has a touch screen too the way it's kind of uh, glossy there yeah some of them were with touch screens but especially these um, i7s that you've you know if somebody bought i7s they you know they might be touch screen or whatnot you know to me it's like whatever you know since they don't fold entirely you know they don't fold the other way see how it's like folding towards back they don't fold all the way around I really don't care for touchscreen if it doesn't if you can't turn it into uh, tablet like you know so these are the ones but yeah these are light and, and they're decent but I just don't like the plasticky feel to them you know they're very skinny too and uh, uh, let me see what else here oh my god this is these are Dell's we had some of these these are the worst laptops that we've had Dell Latitudes these are old 
These are old. They were with i. They came with i fives, um, second gen i fives, and they were just some of the worst laptops. We had like a handful, and they had this brushed steel finish to them, but they didn't really help it much because these things were so slow. They were so slow. It was. It was. Oh my god. It was unbearable. And a long time ago, I've had one of these as a work, and it, and oh my god, it was just. It was just terrible, guys. Um, if you guys are, uh, oh man, you know, I yeah, I, I definitely can't recommend this. And you look at this here; it has customer review and one star. It's just terrible. Don't even think about buying this, you know. But if you guys are interested in in buying any of these, um, you know, I'll just put post a couple of links in the description box below if you're interested in having a look. Uh, you know, I'll I'll try to find the best deal I can on Amazon. But I know this one is decent. If you're looking for a decent uh, a laptop, you know it's very rugged in my opinion. And uh, let's see. It. And I'll post a link in the description about this one too, uh, just like the one I bought because you know these. I, I really think there's a lot more life left in these, and there you can get them so cheap. You know. And again, I'll try to find the best deal for you guys. So. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope that gives you kind of an insight of what to expect in a business type of environment, you know. I'm sure there are different type of, uh, uh, you know, other brands maybe used by other businesses, but expect to see HP because HP provides, you know, really good support when it comes to warranty and whatnot. And typically these computers are replaced five to six years, depending on the business, depending, you know, on warranty. Usually it's warranty related, you know. Once the warranty rolls out, typically five years, they get replaced by, the, you know, these newer ones, you know. And again, you know, some businesses may have some kind of weird looking, you know, uh, you know, uh, PCs like this that are just tiny, almost like uh, dumb terminal type of things. Well, this one is not dumb terminal, but they can be used as dumb terminal. But generally what you, what you will see is stuff that I've shown already. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.